So once the brower has been removed, this is it. So it has a, a belt on it that acts like a tea bag does that filters the tea. The tea comes down here, and the chamber sits on the top, seals it, water comes through, gravity, and the brewed tea comes out of there. So what we want to do is we want to release this pressure to get the belt off. So we can release it like that and then we've got this pin that locks it open. So we release the pressure, move the pin clockwise and you can see it locks into that position there. It's now allowed us to take the belt off. So I would now I'd give this a wash. Uh, make sure this is clear here. The little screwdriver, or something. Make sure there's no uh, build-up of tanning or tin there. Um, just give the whole thing general rinse. Some warm soapy water, and then we will get the new belt and put that on. There's a pack of four in here. So, um, this belt has a seam on it on the inside. You can see there. So, what we want to do is we want to put this on and we want the seam. The brew is going to turn clockwise that way, and we want the seam to be facing away. From the scraper underneath that scrapes the tea leaves off. So it's still under tension. I'll show you this now. Underneath the scraper. Over the roller. That's the way. Um, let's go. That's the way it would normally run clockwise. So you can see the seam is facing away. It's underneath anyway, but it just hopefully will stop it once we release the pressure. That is. So now I'm going to release the pressure. So now it's now taut the belt. Yep. Yeah, so is that way. And that seam, there's no, no way that's going to be sticking open the other way to catch. This is where it scrapes the tea leaves off where it comes underneath. And that's it. Just go through that again. You push that in upwards while pushing it forward. And then let it go back slightly to you to allow it to lock into there. That's releasing the tension. Press to the tension back on again. And that is it.